From this moment, you stand at a crossroads. One path leads to a life of mediocrity, filled with struggle and limitation. The other opens to limitless potential, boundless growth and greatness. Which path will you choose? In the next few minutes, I'll reveal three transformative techniques inspired by the teachings of Neville Goddard that can reshape your entire reality. These methods will show you how to rewrite your past, live fully in your desired future, and finally break free from the invisible barriers that have held you back. But first, ask yourself, are you truly prepared for a profound transformation? If you're ready to stop being a victim of circumstance and start consciously creating the life you've always dreamed of, keep reading. This journey isn't for the faint of heart, it's for those who are serious about unlocking their highest potential. Now that you're open to change, let me introduce you to your guide on this transformative path. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to manifest their dreams with ease, while others remain stuck no matter how hard they try? The answer lies in understanding the true nature of reality. Neville Goddard, a visionary spiritual teacher, discovered how to peer behind the veil of our world, what some might call a simulation of sorts. His teachings hold the keys to unlocking your limitless potential. Neville Goddard taught that our world is not a fixed, external reality. Instead, it's a projection of our inner consciousness, like a film playing on the screen of your life. Imagine your mind as a powerful projector, constantly sending out your thoughts, beliefs and expectations into the world, shaping the reality you experience. This is how Goddard explained the nature of our existence, a simulation created by our own minds. Consider the story of Sarah, an artist who had struggled for years to sell her paintings. After discovering Goddard's work, she began using his techniques. Instead of focusing on her lack of success, she started imagining herself as a successful artist, feeling the joy and fulfillment of her art being appreciated and sold. Within a few months, she held her first solo exhibition and every painting sold out. Sarah didn't just change her mindset, she hacked the simulation of her life by shifting her consciousness. At the heart of Goddard's teachings is the idea that consciousness is the only reality. Everything we experience in our physical world is a direct reflection of our inner state. It's like standing in front of a mirror. What you see is always a perfect reflection of yourself. In the same way, your external world mirrors your inner beliefs and assumptions. Think of your consciousness as the source code of a computer program and your physical reality as the program running on the screen. By rewriting the source code, your thoughts and beliefs. You can change the program, the very life you are living. You might wonder, if my consciousness creates my reality, why isn't my life already perfect? The answer is simple. Most of us are creating unconsciously, using outdated programming and limiting beliefs. But the moment you grasp how the system works, you can begin to consciously shape the life you truly desire. Picture this, you're watching a movie in a theater, you're so absorbed in the plot, you forget you're sitting in a seat, watching a projection on a screen. That's how most people live their lives, completely caught up in the drama, forgetting that they're the ones projecting it. Goddard's teachings are like someone tapping you on the shoulder, gently reminding you that you're not just the viewer, you're also the projectionist. By applying his principles, you begin to notice the connection between your thoughts, beliefs, and the reality you experience. It's like putting on special glasses that reveal the hidden structure of your world. But the real magic begins when you understand that once you see the code, you can change it. You're no longer a passive participant in a seemingly chaotic world. Instead, you become the conscious creator of your reality, rewriting the script to align with your deepest desires. Now, as you stand on the brink of rewriting your life story, consider this. What if some of the thoughts you believe are yours aren't actually yours at all? 
What if they're part of a pre-programmed system designed to keep you limited? This isn't just a philosophical question, it's the reality many of us live in. Think about it. How many times have you heard things like, money doesn't grow on trees or good things never last? These aren't just idle sayings, they're pieces of societal conditioning acting like code in a simulation designed to keep you within certain boundaries. From a young age, we're conditioned to accept limiting beliefs. Imagine you're a child who loves to draw and an adult says, you'll never make a living as an artist. That single sentence implants a piece of code in your mind, and before long, you start believing it, living it, and your artistic dreams fade away. Or maybe you've heard, we can't afford that. Over time, this message becomes a deeply ingrained belief about money, constantly influencing your financial decisions. These beliefs form what God had called a scarcity mindset trapping you in a smaller reality than what you're truly capable of experiencing. But the most mind-blowing part? This isn't just mental. Your beliefs are actively shaping your physical world. If you believe in scarcity, that's exactly what you'll encounter in life, reinforcing the very limitations you want to escape. But here's the good news. If our reality is shaped by our consciousness, and our consciousness is filled with limiting beliefs, then we have the power to reprogram it. And that's where Goddard's techniques come in. They act like cheat codes, allowing you to break free from the simulation and create a life that aligns with your highest potential. Imagine being able to see the world without the filter of limiting beliefs, a world full of infinite possibilities and abundance. This is the power of Goddard's teachings. They offer a way to step out of the prison of societal conditioning and into your true power as the creator of your reality. We've now understood the prison we're in, but how do we escape? The answer might surprise you. Sometimes the most powerful tool isn't an action, but silence. Mastering the art of mental quietude could be the key to bending reality itself. Imagine your mind as a puppy. It needs training to sit still. When thoughts arise, simply acknowledge them and let them drift away like clouds passing in the sky. With consistent practice, you'll find it easier to maintain that inner stillness. Regular meditation serves as a powerful tool to help you tap into your true potential. It's like cleaning the lens through which you view the world. As you continue to practice meditation, you'll gradually notice that the noise of the simulation, the incessant chatter of society's conditioning, begins to fade. In its place, you'll discover a deep well of creativity, intuition, and manifestation power. But here's where it gets really exciting. As you cultivate this inner stillness, you're not just becoming more peaceful you're actually changing the very code of your reality. Remember, consciousness creates reality. By altering your state of consciousness through meditation, you're literally reprogramming the simulation itself. Think of it this way, when you're caught up in the noise of everyday life, you're like a character in a video game, reacting to everything around you without much control. But when you meditate, you step back and become the player the one who controls the game. You're no longer at the mercy of your environment. Instead, you become the creator of it. As you delve deeper into your meditation practice, you might start to notice synchronicities in your life. Those delightful little coincidences that seem too perfect to be random. These moments are signs that you're aligning with the flow of the universe tapping into the underlying code of reality. Yet it's crucial to remember that this isn't about escaping reality. It's about fully engaging with it from a place of consciousness and empowerment. Meditation helps you become more present in your daily life, allowing you to appreciate the beauty and potential inherent in each moment. So, are you ready to take the first step in hacking the simulation? Start with just five minutes of meditation each day, 
As you build your practice, you'll realize that this simple act of sitting in silence is actually one of the most revolutionary things you can do. You're not just changing your mind, you're transforming your entire reality. Now you may already know that meditation can alter your present, but what about all that baggage from your past? Those embarrassing moments, missed opportunities, and painful experiences still haunting you. Get ready, because we're about to dive into a technique that can literally rewrite your personal history. Picture this. You're watching your favorite TV show, and there's a scene you just can't stand. What do you do? You grab the remote and hit rewind, right? Now imagine if you could do that with your own life. That's precisely what Neville Goddard's revision technique is all about. It's like having a cosmic remote control for your memories. So how does this mind-bending technique work? It's actually quite simple. Take a memory that's been bothering you, close your eyes, and reimagine it the way you wish it had happened. It's like being the director of your own life movie, where you get to yell cut and reshoot any scene you want. Let's try this out together. Think about a time when you completely bombed a job interview. You were nervous, stumbled over your words, and left feeling like a total failure. Now, here's where the magic happens. Close your eyes and replay that scene in your mind. But this time, imagine yourself walking in with confidence, answering every question perfectly and leaving with a job offer. Feel the excitement, the pride, the relief. Really let those positive emotions sink in. It might sound a bit far-fetched, right? But here's the secret. According to Goddard, when you do this, you're not just playing pretend, you're actually rewiring your brain and changing the energy surrounding that event. It's like debugging the faulty code in your personal simulation. You might be thinking, but that's not what really happened. And you're right, but remember what we learned earlier. Your consciousness creates your reality. By changing your consciousness about past events, you're literally altering your reality. But why bother with the past? Isn't it better to focus on the future? Here's the thing, those past experiences are like old software running in the background of your mind, influencing your thoughts, feelings and actions in ways you might not even realize. By revising them, you're freeing up mental space and energy for new, more empowering programs. Goddard believed that dwelling on past mistakes was like reinfecting yourself, akin to picking at an old wound instead of allowing it to heal. Revision acts as a spiritual antibiotic, helping those wounds heal faster and cleaner. But revision isn't just about erasing bad memories, it's about transforming them into fuel for your future. That embarrassing moment can become a lesson in resilience, and a missed opportunity can turn into a stepping stone for something even better. You're not just changing your past, you're reshaping your entire narrative. The best part? You can use revision for both significant life events and small daily annoyances. Had a fight with your partner, revise it into a loving conversation. Spilled coffee on your shirt, imagine you caught the cup just in time. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds great, but does it really work? Well, countless people have reported amazing results from practicing revision regularly. They've found that not only do they feel better about their past, but their present circumstances begin to shift as well. It's as if they've unlocked a cheat code for life. Revising your past is just the beginning. Now, picture yourself already living your ideal life. Feel it. Breathe it. Taste it. This isn't wishful thinking. It's a spiritual practice that can reshape your entire existence. Welcome to the profound concept of living in the end, a transformative technique that Neville Goddard believed could alter the very fabric of our reality. Imagine for a moment that the future you've always dreamed of isn't just a distant possibility, but a present reality you can step into right now. Sounds incredible, doesn't it? At its core, living in the end is about fully embodying the feeling of your desire fulfilled. It's not just visualizing success. It's about experiencing it so vividly in your imagination that your subconscious mind accepts it 
as truth. This is where the magic happens. Think of it like this. Your consciousness is like a garden and your thoughts and feelings are the seeds. When you live in the end, you're planting the seeds of your desired reality and nurturing them with the water of your belief and the sunlight of your focused attention. But how do we actually do this? It starts with a simple yet powerful practice. Choose a quiet moment in your day, close your eyes and step into the scene of your desire being fulfilled. If you want a successful career, feel the satisfaction of achieving your goals. If it's a loving relationship you seek, immerse yourself in the warmth and joy of being with your ideal partner. As you engage in this imaginary scene, activate all your senses. What do you see? What sounds surround you? What emotions are you feeling? The more vivid and real you can make this experience, the more powerful its effect on your subconscious mind. Affirmations can also be a powerful tool in this process. Craft statements that reflect your desire as if it's already achieved. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, affirm, I am successful. Feel the truth of these words as you speak them. Remember, it's not about convincing yourself. It's about aligning your consciousness with the reality you wish to experience. You might be thinking, this sounds great, but what about doubt? What if I can't maintain this belief? Doubt is a natural part of the process. When it arises, acknowledge it, but don't give it power. Instead, gently return your focus to the feeling of your desire fulfilled. It's like training a puppy. With patience and persistence, your mind will learn to stay in this positive state. Impatience is another common pitfall in our fast-paced world. We often expect instant results, but remember, you're working with the infinite intelligence of the universe. Trust in divine timing. Your job is to plant the seed and nurture it with your belief. The universe will take care of the how and when. As you practice living in the end, you're essentially rewriting the code of your reality. It's like tuning a radio to pick up a specific station. When you're in alignment, you naturally attract experiences that match your new vibration. This practice goes beyond mere positive thinking. It's a profound spiritual technique that acknowledges the creative power of your consciousness. By living in the end, you recognize that you are not separate from your desires. You are one with them. Imagine for a moment that your life isn't just a series of events happening to you, but an eternal drama you're both writing and starring in. What if you could wake up within this cosmic play and consciously direct its course? The power is yours. Embrace it, practice it, and watch as your reality transforms in ways you never thought possible. You have the ability to create, to rewrite your narrative, and to step into the life you've always dreamed of. The journey starts with your consciousness. Take that first step and let the magic unfold. Unfolding. This isn't just a thought experiment. It's a profound truth that Neville Goddard discovered and shared with the world. Goddard taught that our entire existence resembles a grand theatrical production, with each of us playing multiple roles. We are the actors on stage, living out our daily lives, but we're also the audience observing and experiencing the drama. Most importantly, we are the playwrights, crafting the story with our consciousness. Consider this. When you dream at night, you create entire worlds, populate them with characters and experience adventures. You're the dreamer, yet you're also every character within that dream. Goddard suggests that our waking life is no different. It's merely a dream from which we have not yet fully awakened. This concept of life as an eternal drama is not just a philosophical musing, it's a powerful tool for transformation. When you realize that you're not just a passive participant in life, but the creator of your reality, everything changes. Sudden challenges become opportunities for growth. Setbacks transform into plot twists you can rewrite, and your desires evolve into inevitable outcomes of the story you are telling. But how do we awaken within this dream? 
God had spoke of a process he termed spiritual crucifixion and resurrection. Don't let these terms intimidate you. They are metaphors for the journey of awakening from the simulation of ordinary life. The crucifixion represents letting go of our limited self, the version of us that believes we are separate from our desires and powerless against circumstances. It's about surrendering the ego that clings to past hurts and future fears. This can be uncomfortable, even painful, but it is a necessary step in our spiritual evolution. The resurrection, however, is the glorious rebirth that follows. It's the moment we fully embody our true nature as the dreamers of our reality. We rise above the limitations of our old selves and step into our power as conscious creators. This process is akin to becoming lucid in a dream. Initially, you're caught up in the drama, believing it's all happening to you. Then comes the realization, wait, this is a dream. Suddenly, you're aware that you're the dreamer, capable of shaping the dream as you wish. Similarly, as we awaken to our true nature in waking life, we gain the ability to consciously create our reality. We are no longer at the mercy of external circumstances, for we understand that these circumstances are projections of our own consciousness. This revelation that we are the dreamers of our reality is the ultimate cheat code for life. It means that the power to change your life doesn't lie in some external force or circumstance. It resides within you and always has. Consider how this shifts your perspective, that promotion you've been hoping for. It's not about waiting for someone else to recognize your worth. It's about embodying the consciousness of someone who already holds that position. The loving relationship you desire. It's not about finding the right person. It's about becoming the right person. The one who naturally attracts and sustains that love. Here's where it gets really exciting. This awakening isn't just about manifesting material desires. It's about realizing your true spiritual nature. As you embrace your role as the dreamer of your reality, you tap into a wellspring of creativity, love and wisdom that has been within you all along. Imagine living each day with the awareness that you're crafting your own story. How would you write the next chapter? What grand adventures would you create for yourself? What beautiful experiences would you manifest for others? Remember, this isn't about escaping reality. It's about fully engaging with it from a place of conscious creation. It's about recognizing the divine play unfolding all around us and stepping into our roles as co-creators with the universe. So you've unlocked the cheat codes to the universe. Now what? It's time to level up your consciousness and start playing the game of life on God mode. But be warned, with great power, comes great responsibility. As you step into your role as the conscious creator of your reality, you may feel a mix of excitement and overwhelm. Don't worry, this is perfectly natural. You are embarking on a spiritual journey that will transform every aspect of your life. Let's begin with a simple yet powerful practice, keeping a manifestation journal. This sacred document serves as your direct line to the universe, a space to record your desires and track their manifestations. Each day, take a few moments to write down what you want to create in your life. Be specific, be bold, and most importantly, write as if these things have already happened. Feel the joy, the gratitude, and the sense of accomplishment as you pen each word. But remember, manifestation isn't just about writing down your wishes and waiting for them to appear. It's about aligning your entire being with your desires. This is where the daily revision practice comes into play. Each night before you sleep, take a few moments to review your day. Here's the twist. Revise any events that didn't go as you would have liked. Imagine you had a disagreement with a co-worker. Close your eyes and replay the scene in your mind, but this time, see yourself handling the situation with grace and wisdom. Feel the harmony that results from this positive interaction. By doing this, you're not just changing your memory of the event. You're shifting the energy around it, creating ripples of positivity that extend into your future. Now, 
I know what you're thinking. This sounds great, but how do I maintain this new perspective when life gets tough? It's a valid question. The truth is, you will face challenges, doubt may creep in, and old habits may try to reassert themselves. But remember, these are just remnants of your old programming, the last gasps of the simulation trying to pull you back in. When doubt arises, treat it as an opportunity to flex your manifestation muscles. Acknowledge the doubt, thank it for trying to protect you, then gently but firmly remind yourself of your true nature as the creator of your reality. You might even want to create a personal mantra for these moments, something like, I am the author of my story and I choose joy, abundance and love. As you integrate these practices into your daily life, start small. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a new reality. Begin by manifesting little things, a perfect parking spot, a compliment from a stranger, a moment of unexpected beauty. As you witness these small manifestations unfold, your confidence will grow, and you'll naturally begin to dream bigger. Remember, you're not just changing your circumstances, you're transforming your entire being. This journey of awakening is the most profound work you'll ever undertake. It's the work of becoming who you truly are and stepping into your divine power and purpose. As you continue on this path, you may notice radical shifts in your life. Relationships may change as you align with your higher self. Opportunities may suddenly appear that perfectly match your newly expanded consciousness. You might even find yourself drawn to new places, new experiences, and new ways of being in the world. Embrace these changes. They are signs that you're successfully rewriting the code of your reality. You're no longer a passive character in someone else's story. You are the author, the director, and the star of your own cosmic drama. But here's the most beautiful part of this journey. As you awaken to your true nature and start consciously creating your reality, you're not just changing your own life. You are contributing to the awakening of the entire world. Every time you choose love over fear, abundance over scarcity, joy over suffering, you send out ripples of higher consciousness that touch everyone around you. As we approach the end of this segment, you find yourself standing at the threshold of a new reality. You've peered behind the curtain of the simulation and discovered an incredible truth. You are the dreamer, the creator, the divine spirit experiencing life in physical form. This knowledge is both a gift and a responsibility. The choice is yours and it begins now. With each thought, each feeling and each assumption, you are shaping your reality. Choose wisely. As you transform within, the world around you will start to change. Your relationships, career, health and day-to-day -day experiences will begin to reflect your new state of consciousness. You'll notice that as you align more with your true self, life flows with greater ease, grace and synchronicity. Challenges will still arise, but you'll come to see them not as obstacles, but as opportunities to grow and refine your mastery as the creator of your reality. This new world is not merely about accumulating material wealth or achieving personal goals. It's about embodying the highest version of yourself, the one who lives from a place of love, compassion and limitless possibility. Living as a conscious creator means being fully present in each moment, aware that you are both the dreamer and the dream. You are the one writing the script and you possess the power to change it at any time. This mindset entails taking full responsibility for your life, acknowledging that every experience, relationship and situation is a reflection of your inner state. This realization is both liberating and empowering because it means you can change your reality by changing yourself. You are no longer a victim of circumstances. You are the author of your story. So how do you continue this journey? It's about daily practice and mindfulness. Each day, remind yourself of who you truly are, a powerful creator. Use the tools you've learned 
Meditation to quiet the mind, revision to heal the past, and living in the end to manifest your desires. Keep a journal of your manifestations and revisions, not as a chore, but as a joyful celebration of your power to shape your world. Remember you are not alone on this journey. Countless others are awakening to this truth, learning to navigate the simulation of reality with grace and purpose. Find a community of like-minded individuals who can support and inspire you. Share your insights, celebrate your wins, and offer compassion during challenges. We are all connected, and as each of us awakens to our true nature, we help elevate the consciousness of the entire planet. Imagine a world where more and more people awaken to their power as conscious creators. A world where love, abundance and joy are the norm, not the exception. This is the new world we are building together. One thought, one belief and one act of creation at a time. As you move forward, embrace the adventure of life. Know there will be highs and lows, twists and turns. Through it all, you hold the pen that writes your story. You are the dreamer who dreams and awakens within the dream. So write boldly, dream freely, and live fully. This journey has only just begun. You've stepped into the realm of limitless potential, where you no longer ask what life has in store for you, but rather, what you will create next. The simulation is yours to explore, shape and transcend. Are you ready to take control of your simulation? If this message resonates with you, subscribe, share it, live it, and let's create a world where everyone remembers who they truly are. The power to transform your reality lies within you. Welcome to the new world, a world crafted by your conscious creation.